What's going on everyone? Today we'll be taking a look at a new e-bike I just got in. This is the Be Cool Pathfinder. It comes in this version you see here and there's also a step through version as well. Looking at the specs, this is a 750 watt e-bike with a huge 20 amp hour battery. This bike also has 188 millimeter hydraulic brakes, seven speed shifter, front and rear lights, plus an integrated turn signal, a built in horn, 26 by four fat tires, and lastly, a front suspension as well as a seat post suspension. As far as assembly goes, it was pretty straightforward and pretty standard, the same as any other e-bike. I won't be going over that process as Be Cool actually has a really helpful video that walks you through that entire process. I basically just followed that video and with that, everything went according to plan. Uh, the bike is well packed. I received it. it. didn't have any damage. The only small damage I had was a small scuff on the rear fender, but it really isn't that big, so it's not a big deal. Other than that, like I said, the bike was packed very well. In my opinion, almost too well, if that is possible, because there was a lot of styrofoam pieces wrapping every tube of the bike. But over that, there was a ton of zip ties. I felt like I spent just as much time cutting and removing zip ties from this bike than I did assembling it. So while I appreciate them going the extra mile to make sure it's protected, I think on future packings, they could use a little less zip ties. Inside the box, beside the bike, you also get a box and this has the manual, charger, assembly tools, and the pedals. The only thing I didn't like about assembling this bike is they leave all the wire management up front to you. So in front by the handlebars, all the wiring was not organized. It just looked like a bunch of loose spaghetti. They did include zip ties, but if they can include zip ties, I feel like they should have just done that from the factory and tied it up for you. But I put some zip ties, also put some Velcro straps, so now it looks nice and organized, but I'll throw up a picture so you can see what it looked like before versus after I went ahead and sorted it out. Taking a look at the bike itself, I really like the design they did on this one. It looks a lot different from other e-bikes that I've seen. Typically with e-bikes, they try to make a smooth, robotic, electric kind of look the same in electric cars they want to go for that futuristic look but with this one that's complete opposite it's it doesn't have smooth lines all the body panels are mostly like sharp you can see the wells very clearly it, it just has an industrial rugged look that makes it look really beefy and strong so i really hope the power and speed matches up to that the model i have in front of me is in their color called aurora blue which is a very nice almost like a dark teal color. On pictures and videos, it doesn't quite translate the same. When you see it in person, it's a very unique and cool color. I personally like the color, but if you want something more basic, they also have this same bike in a basic all matte black look as well. So I have not rolled this bike yet, but let me show you my favorite feature of this bike so far. And that is this screen here. The colors on it are nice and vibrant. The pixel density is great. Overall, it just looks like something you would see on a modern smartphone. A lot of e-bikes have color screens, but the colors look washed out and the pixel density is always usually very low. And it kind of has like a 1995 cell phone kind of look where it's, it has what you need on there, but it just doesn't look very well. This looks very modern, very high tech. All the information you need right there. You got your screen, your battery, your power, your mileage. You can cycle through, see another screen. It's very easy to use, but more importantly, it looks very great. And this is probably the most vibrant screen I've seen on any e-bike on the market so far. Coming around back, it has this nice bright tail light, but more importantly, like I said earlier, this bike has built-in turn signals. And it's not just a basic turn signal, they went all out and did a sequential turn signal. So it has that nice flowing look. So that really works well for this bike, especially when you consider that nice screen that just ties in the whole futuristic e-bike look for me and I really like that. One thing I noticed and I didn't like on this bike is this cover here. When I seen this cover, I thought it was gonna be a USB port or something, but when you open it up, the only thing inside is this tiny charger hole. So I don't understand why it needs this gigantic cover, gigantic hole, and then there's that tiny little charger port in there. That's like one-tenth of the size of this here. So I don't understand why it needed this giant hole just for that. Most e-bikes just have the cover that covers only that hole. Maybe slightly larger like how the inner hole is, but there's no reason why it needs to go all out and have this gigantic port cover right here. One other thing I'll note is if you're a short person, most likely this bike is not for you. I'm 5'10", and even for me, it's a bit of a hassle to get onto this bike. I am getting a little old, so it is a little harder to do that huge step that you need to get onto this bike, but 
even my advancing level, it's a step over as well, but this top bar goes much lower, so it's easier to step over. This is at least, I don't know the exact measurements, I'll look it up and throw it on the screen, but I know this is a much bigger and taller bike than my events and level, so if you're taller, this would be a great bike for you, but if you're 5'5", five, 5'6", five, five, or shorter, most likely it's gonna be way too big, and you're better off with the step-through model. All right, well, it's about 35 degrees right now. It's dark out, so I'm not gonna take this out for a ride right now, but Tomorrow for me, a few seconds later for you, we'll take this out and see how it rides. All right, so I just got by the trail by my house and it is cold out. It's maybe 34, 33 degrees, but we're gonna go for a ride still and I'll test this bike out. First impressions, this seat is very comfortable. This is one of the most comfortable seats I've used on any of my e-bikes. It didn't look like it was gonna be that great, but in combination with the seat post suspension that actually works pretty well it makes a very comfortable combination uh, one small note about these fat tire e-bikes this is my first full-size fat tire e-bike and the first thing i noticed was these are a lot harder to pedal once the pedal assist kicks in you you don't feel it but if you turn off the pedal assist you really feel that drag and the friction from the tires especially not only are these fat tires but they're also like knobby off-road fat tires so with my non-fat tire e-bike there's times i'll go riding with my wife and completely turn off pedal assist and for most cars you can still pedal it pretty easily as if it wasn't a heavy e-bike but with this one it's the exact opposite i mean you can pedal it still but you're really gonna work for it so something to keep in mind if you're someone who's thinking about whether to go fat tire e-bike or regular more normal size tires as far as the brakes go on the this bike they are no name hydraulic brakes but they work pretty well very adequate stopping power so no complaints there i haven't done a top speed run yet but off the bat i can tell this bike already has a lot of torque once you hit that throttle it's instantaneous and it gives you a nice push that you need so really impressed with this motor so far but once i get a clear path we'll go ahead and do a top speed test and see how this does Front suspension, as well as the seat full suspension, both work really well as well, especially when you combine them with the fat tires. This is a great off-road handler. I don't really have crazy off-road areas around here, but this grass patch is pretty rough and it's handling no problem, very comfortably. And I forgot to mention, this bike also has a horn. Excuse me, guys. Thank you. It's not the loudest horn. It sounds kind of weird and mechanical, but I mean, it's nice to include that and I guess the job done. I guess that's, I guess that works out well because if it was like a loud car horn, that would have been kind of more invasive. And to me, that would sound kind of rude to people on the path, but this sounds very pleasant. Instead of a move, get out of the way, it sounds more like a, excuse me, which works well. All right, we're gonna go ahead and do a top speed test. The beauty about it being so cold is nobody is out on these bike paths except for one or two people. So let's go ahead and see how fast we can get this. All right, ready? Passing 20 with ease. 26. 27, 28. 29, can we get 30? 30. All right, looks like it topped out at 30.8. I tried to see if I could pedal to boost it a little more, but at that point I could immediately tell I was ghost pedaling and that, that was not gonna do anything. So 30.8 top speed on throttle, which is pretty good for a 750 watt motor. I don't think anyone needs to go more than 30 miles per hour, but of course we all want to go as fast as we can go, but I'm glad to see it's not locked and without even messing with the controller, you can get 30.8 top speed out of this bike. Well, as I've said, it's very cold out right now. My hands are already going numb. I'm starting to get boogers on my face, so I'm not going to test the top range, but this is a 20 amp hour battery, so I already know it's going to get a good amount of distance. 
it's ready to do 40 to 60 miles top range uh with my experience of other bikes that i have i'm gonna say you're gonna get about 40 to 50 if you're pedaling casually the way anyone else would and if you're just going full throttle 20 30 miles per hour you're probably gonna get about 30 miles out of the battery which it's pretty good 20 amp hour right now i think that's like the class leading the best battery on most e-bikes there is other e-bikes that have like 30 amp hours but usually those are more moped style that are gonna weigh way more than 100 pounds so with any e-bike i think 20 is way more than most people would need one thing i found strange in this bike which i don't know if they have a different definition of it but as far as other bikes that i've had they always have something called walk mode and my impression is this is something you turn on so when you're pushing the bike it kind of provides you with some assist so you're not pushing along a 60 pound bike and it kind of goes at walking speed but with this one has walking mode but i feel like it's more like running mode because once you turn it on the bike starts going three four miles per hour and you can't really keep up with it so i think on this bike walking mode is like automatic slow riding mode because let me go ahead and turn it on for you and you'll see what it does all right walking mode it's going on what they call walking mode it's going 5.9 miles per hour so i'm not sure what they think walking mode is or maybe i had the definition wrong but that doesn't seem like walking mode to me all right let's go ahead and try walking mode again see on on the bike walking mode still getting me five miles per hour this is more manageable and it kind of just rides by itself which is kind of cool i guess it's like really slow cruise control so i mean it's useful if someone's walking next to you or power walking next to you you could ride with them like this and just relax but if you guys have e-bikes let me know what yours does in walking mode is it a very slow mode where it's very slow next to you you could walk and push it or is it faster like this maybe i had the definition wrong maybe i misunderstood what that is maybe i'm right i'm not sure but let me know what your bike does on walking mode so we can get that clarified all right well i'm heading back i think that about wraps up this review if you guys have any questions at all as usual let me know I'll do what i can to answer your questions and find out the information for you otherwise thanks for watching and i'll see you guys next time